I was born in the park, so I don't really know much different. But we used to have a wonderful time. We moved down here into this park when I was in grade five, and I basically grew up here from then on. I grew up on the park. From about six years old, we lived in a caravan for four years. We had a great childhood growing up on the park. Oh, there's my bike class and his great friends. They're still doing good jobs. And, uh, they're good friends, aren't they? They're good friends. From the days of Big Four being set up, we haven't really changed the brand. Those bounding thoughts still resonate through the DNA of Big Four. Things have moved yeah. on. Well, you have a lot more staff now. We couldn't afford the staff when we first started. Big Four is well recognised now throughout Australia. I'm very proud of my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm proud of my family. <laughs> Big Four for us runs a lot deeper than everybody else. Knowing that it came from just four small business operators sitting around a kitchen table to what it is today, they would never have thought that it would have gotten this big. It started with Dad, but then it's lots of people along the way have moved it to where it is today. We're proud of where it is, where it's got to. Working at Big Four Holiday Park, it's always busy and everyone's really happy, so I love it. Proud that it originated from my grandparents. I, I just feel very proud of the way that we've been able to give people holidays. That's what it's all about. It's our guests that are the main thing. And of course, having three children that have taken over the business, you couldn't be more proud of that. Leadership in this industry to me means Preparedness to take risks, being cognizant of the industry at large and particularly within the Big Four group. Leadership in our industry is working together. We never see each other as competition. We actually see our industry as making ourselves better to compete against other tourism industries. Big Four has generally been regarded as the leader in the industry because they've taken the time to invest in the best possible website, the best possible facilities, even going back to early days when it first started. Ultimately, families and people will always want to travel. They will always want to have a natural outdoor experience. So the future for holiday parks is very bright. We just take every day as it comes. We don't know what's going to happen in three years, five years, ten years. All that I know, and it's a quote of Soph's, is if you're going to do something, be the best at what you do. As for our kids, they're involved in it already. We feel very lucky to be able to have our kids with us while we create these great parks for people to stay at, and we're creating great holiday memories. If our legacy is that we have contributed to people's stories, then that's an incredible, powerful donation of, of what we've achieved. I'm very, very fortunate that my brother's children are now in their 20s and are now start, starting to come back into the business. So we have another generation coming on. I'm now a great auntie and my little great niece yesterday put her mother's uniform top on for the first time. It just makes you, your heart melt. It really does. So we've got a future. I can see us being here for the next 20 or 30 years now. Big Four exists on giving park owners in the franchise a return on investment. While ever they keep giving good return on investment, Big Four will prosper. And I believe they've got a great future. The industry is growing, Big Four is growing, and the quality of Big Four is growing. Because we're all putting so much time and effort back into the parks, all that does is, is make the brand even stronger. Big Four means to me being involved with a group of like-minded individuals that want to have the best parks in Australia.
and I think Big Four, to me personally, provides great friendships. The park at Ballerine was a vacant paddock. We put a Big Four sign up in front of it. There was still nothing at the back of it. More people knew of what was going on in that area within six months than what they did about this park that was set off the main road over 30 years, just purely because of the Big Four signage. People understand what Big Four is. People understand what Big Four means and what its values are. We've been incredibly lucky to be involved with Big Four, not only because of the connections we've made, but the access to the Big Four brand has really, it's been awesome for us. Big Four has been so successful because of the camaraderie. We got to know the other park owners so well that a lot of our people were sent on from other parks to come to East Beach. Robert always said a million dollars would never buy the friendships that we have made through the Big Four group. I think he yeah, was ahead of everyone in Australia when he started Big Four. They just had the vision. They've worked so hard to do what they've done now and still running three parks at their stage of life and got a lovely family helping them. It's just a pleasure to see. I hope we're still sitting here in not another 51 years, but <laughs> at least at least another 20 years, so Makes whatever. Makes me feel very happy. I think we've done a good job with the industry. We have been able to contribute things, but in return we've earned a, a, a living and we've learnt a lot. And I think it's a two-way street. If you don't give, you don't get. Ultimately, the people that make Big Four as iconic as it is, is the park owners. I can sit in my office in, in Hawthorne making some decisions about how we market or how we sell, but ultimately it is a customer experience in the park. And you talk to people who in the last 40 years have been to Big Four Parks as kids and now have their own kids, they bring them back because of the memories and the connection they have with that park. And they're the heroes. The park owners are the heroes of our business.